The pandemic, virtual classes, working from home, all have made for a challenging year for teachers, students, parents, of course, as well. As well. But despite it all, a Houston teacher has found a way to make a big difference by lending a hand, offering scholarships to high school students he didn't know using his own money. Put out a call for essays on being a black man in America. The entries poured in. So I want to bring in now Frost Elementary fifth grade math teacher Joshua Martin and scholarship recipient Mateus Honeycutt. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. Good to see those big smiles. And, and I'll start with you, Mr. Martin. Look, I, I don't know what they're paying teachers uh, in your district, but uh, most people assume <laughs> that teachers aren't just balling, right? So uh, you had to put up your own money. Um, what made you want to take on this, what truly is an expense, uh, uh, no doubt, to start giving out scholarships? So for myself, honestly, I can say it's making that difference in their lives. I, you know, I didn't have like the best upbringing, but I didn't have the worst either. But I wanted to be able to make that change and to give those students the opportunity and the financial support that they needed to go to school. And Mr. Martin, one other thing, I have here a note from our producers that actually said that a teacher, when you were in sixth grade, do I have it right, said something to you that sounds horrible, but turned into something that was really motivating. What was it? Yes, yeah, so in sixth grade, uh, one of my teachers told me that I would be nothing in life but flipping hamburgers. And that comment, it, especially being a sixth grade student, it was very like, you know, tormental. Like I, I literally, it tore me down a lot. But as I look back, I literally thank that teacher so much for saying that to me because without hearing that comment, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Mateus, let me bring you in here now. How did you hear about this in the first place? How, how did the news come to you that you had an opportunity to maybe write an essay and get a scholarship? Well, it came for me from my teacher who taught me for this in 11th grade at A.B. Casey's High School. That's how I found out about it. Now, being a black man in America is what the essay was supposed to be about. I guess, where did your mind go in terms of putting your, your thoughts to paper that clearly stood out because you're a top uh, uh, recipient now of the scholarship? But give me an idea of what yours kind of was about. My thought process going into it, it really, it, you know, like when you start, and it starts really sporadic, but once you get into it, you get into the meticulous part to really write down what you want to say and have it be meaningful. I really just wanted to write down things that I'm sure about while wow, being black in America, being a black man in America, to be specific. So I'm more from the perspective of things that I could appreciate of being a black man in America than the things that we all know to be common and very true. Um, Mr. Martin, what, what do you hope now? Uh, again, we have Mateus here. But you have this program going. It's not just him that's benefiting. Um, how is this or how do you hope this is going to help? Cash is one thing. A check is one thing. You also have a banquet to announce the, uh, the winners, present those scholarships and have their families, their friends involved. So it's more than just the check. What, what are you hoping uh, these kids from the experience and the money will be able to go on and do? So for myself, I truly... My ultimate goal is to bring change about. I want every child, whether it's a young man, a young woman, African-American, white, Hispanic, whatever, I want them to know that truly you can accomplish any and everything in life. I don't you know, want them to just see what you know, they see in the media of the negative, but I want them to know it's a lot of positivity and that you know, if they wake up every day and you know, they, have to know that that's a new opportunity to achieve greatness. And for myself, it's literally, I want to be that example for, you know, the next generation showing them that, hey, I am myself a young African-American male. I'm doing good. And, you know, if I can do it, anybody else can as well. You mentioned uh, some positivity. So let's end on that positive note, Mateus. And you tell us uh, what's next for you. What's next for me is I'm going to, no, it's kind of ironic because he's a teacher, but my next step is I'm getting my bachelor's in English so I can therefore be an English teacher. And I think it's ironic because he's a teacher too. <laughs> the, the goal is to get that place. 
Well, one teacher helping another young man become a teacher, uh, we certainly love it around here. Mr. Martin, thank you. And Mateus, we're expecting good things from you, man. We hope to see you both down the road, all right? Thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.